Good morning, you two. Uh, this is RV Lady, and um, coming to you from my 28-foot Class C Coachman. I am. Uh, I've got a couple of uh, attachments to this video, so I'm going to keep this short. I have gone out and done my walk and done my juicing, and um, now I'm going to go take a shower while this all downloads. Uh, the thing that I talk about in these add-ons has to do with the generator, and I was really curious to um, figure out if it's the starter or not. Now I'm pretty confident that it is. Um, what I did was I hooked up a separate power source to the generator and um, not used the house battery. I've already used them in, in combination, but and that didn't work. So, you know, I'm just trying different things, but I'm sure it's the starter. And I'm good with that because there's no guessing when I take it in to have somebody work on it. I can say, it's the starter. And when they say, we have a diagnosis fee of $35, I'll say, it's the starter. Please hand me $35. Um, or just take it off my bill. But the, um, here I'll show you this thing because I haven't put it away yet. This portal, uh, power pack, portable power pack is um, $39, it's at, or $40. It's at uh, Harbor Freight. Um, I just tuck it behind the seat. I've had it for a few months. I've used it probably four times and uh, for others and for like what I just did yesterday. Um, if you don't have one of those, there is a certain sense of independence um, that you get from having that. Uh, no matter how long you run your radio or whatever the case may be, you've always got a backup. And I'm big into backup. I'm big into plan B. And so, um, anyway, that's it. And did I mention yet that I got a thumbs down? I got a thumbs down! Okay. Um, very exciting. It was, um, you know, you always want to know who, why. Is there something that I can do to, you know, get a thumbs up from you? Um, but as I said before, I don't really care. It was just fun. I got a thumbs down. And, uh, but send me your comments. Thumb up, thumb down, subscribe. Um, I, I like it when people subscribe because then I can go look at their channel. And um, if they have videos that are made, I usually subscribe. Or if I just want to, you know, subscribe for fun, I do. Like if somebody has zero subscribers, yeah, I usually subscribe. Um, okay, that's it. I'll see you tomorrow, and I'm going to go take a shower, and um, you watch the following. Okay, um, continuation of, you know, previous. Uh, yeah, that didn't work. So, just in case, you know, you've ever thought about that, it makes the same noise that it did with the battery hooked up. So... And I know that thing is fully charged and, you know, it works really great. Um, okay, let's pause. Okay, I climbed down out of the RV. No, I'm outside. But as you can see, it's on and it's got plenty. Well, not as much as it had before, but it's got enough um, to start it. Mm -hmm. Um, but it just isn't going to start, which tells me it's my starter, which is fine. I'll just get a new starter. Um, okay, now I'm going to hook the house battery back up. Hey, just in case you ever wanted to know, yes, you can use an automotive battery. Uh, automotive batteries are basically designed to give you that power surge upon demand and um, decycle that deep cycle batteries are designed for the drain the long long continuous drain and since I have my RV plugged into the house I don't really have to worry about the electricity part um, so this battery doesn't really do anything other than sit here <laughs> okay as you can see mine's underneath the uh, doorway and as I said before I don't like this thing it's too small and um, I'm not really sure uh, what I'm going to do to accommodate, because I would like to have two deep cycle batteries in there, but um, either 6 volt to make 12 volt, or just, I'm, I, I, it looks like I'm going to have to settle for a 12 volt deep cycle. And um, so I'll go out and price those like crazy. But, um, okay, that's it. 
I'll add more in a bit. 